An Ashton Coal extension currently being considered by the courts is concerning viticulture industry stakeholders in the Hunter Valley. The extension has potential to alter salinity levels in Glennies Creek, a branch of the Hunter Valley River system that many local winemakers rely on. The Environmental Defender's Office is responsible for representing locals in the case. Key issues that was raised by some of the members of the community that objected to the proposal. Um, in particular, the um, wine growers were concerned about extra salt in the water. So currently the Hunter River is really at that threshold capacity in terms of its salt content. Um, and any additional salt that's added to the river is going to affect those who depend on it, so in particular the wine growers and those people downstream of this project who depend on that water resource for their business. Chief industry specialists agree that salt increase can severely damage crops. So yeah, the higher salinity levels are certainly in, uh, a potential for, uh, for danger and can, can decimate a, uh, a growing area or can uh, affect the, um, the potential for uh, the roots of the vine uh, to get the nutrients and, the, and water out of the, um, out of the soil. The substantial project has an initial construction cost of $91 million, with an additional $500 million price tag for running costs over its lifespan. However, Ashton Cole insists the extension will not threaten salinity levels. There have been a number of independent scientific reports conducted on the effects of mine operations at Ashton and the proposed extension on groundwater, surface water and salinity. There is a strong agreement between the specialists that there won't be any increase in salinity or impact on the wineries downstream. Vineyard owners are not convinced, saying any mining extensions are unwanted regardless of potential for salinity increase. What we're saying is enough's enough. We don't want to see those mines extended. We don't want any new mines, and we don't want any coal seam gas activities uh, in this uh, viticulture industry cluster. The court will reach a decision later this year. This has been Alexandra Dennis for UTS News.